In this video, we will go over how to use the Explore feature in Google Sheets. The Explore feature is a really cool tool that shows up in the corner in all the different Google apps. So if you see this icon, click on it and it will bring up a lot of different options in the different apps. So look for this guy and try out the different versions. Since we have data in our Google Sheets, our Explore icon is bright green, which means it has stuff to tell us. So when we click on it, it has answers and questions for our data. It has formatting for us and it has some analysis preloaded. So the analysis feature is really nice. It has some graphs already and some data points that we might find of interest. Like it already tells us that Gray scored um, low on the pretest and he also had some of the lowest scores on the quizzes. So he might be a student that we need to check in on based on his test scores. And so you can open up the data um, analysis, the charts that they have for you already. You can insert those directly into the Google Sheet and you can look at them um, full screen. In addition to the preloaded analysis and formatting at the top, the answer feature is really helpful. They have some questions that already have some answers. You can click on them and it will bring up the answers to those questions about your data. So like here, we already have the top answers to our test scores for quiz two. So I can see that these are the top performers for that test. I also can see comparisons between those two quizzes. So Google comes up with some uh, questions that I might have about my data and it loads those answers already in here. And then it has a question bar where I can ask questions based on my data so I can find the average of um, my scores and it will calculate that for me. And it's nice because it will also share the formula, how it got that answer. And I can click on it to show the formula and I can drag that over into my data so that I can keep that answer associated with my data. And I don't have to leave it in the Explorer table. I can keep it in my data for me and the formula will be there so that it stays with that data. I can ask other questions about my data um, and bring up different charts. I ask who were the lowest scores, but I also don't want just the number of scores. So I'm gonna add in who were the lowest names so it knows to pull from those two columns like it did earlier to give me the top scores. And so now I can grab really quickly the lowest scores so I can see who um, I might need to reteach or who might need extra study help for the material that I quizzed. So the answers section is really helpful for analyzing your data or finding out more information that's not just the numbers on your test scores. And the analysis also helps you dig a little bit deeper and look beyond just the numbers. So the explore feature is really helpful for digging in deeper into your data. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.